So it's the actual guys? What's happening? <laughs> Where's that coming from? It's coming from your pocket. Huh? It's, it's my phone. <laughs> How is this happening? In my Did I say play fucking Johnny Cash in the thing? Oh, you know what? I bet that Siri thing is listening to you. How do you turn this off? <laughs> Just say turn off. Hey, Siri. We're gonna get so doom, 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 doom. Right, Johnny's so. gonna be right pissed. He's gonna say you fucking can't use my song on your show. I do, 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 do. All right, so what are we gonna do about that? Nothing. Nothing it, when it's that an act of God. That was my fault. You didn't see me fucking turn anything I on. I believe it's an act of God. It's fine. Totally. It's not our fault. All right, I guess I can do this later. What are you calling, Ricky? just one of my pages in the uh, go, f go fuck yourself I'm coloring but... let's see it <laughs> what the fuck is go to hell bitch <laughs> what is that <laughs> go to hell bitch <laughs> Ricky how long have you been working on this I just started what are you con so well, I don't understand I'm it's just, just trying to pick a page for you heard about so the, it's the red the red is what you just did did yeah. you hear about that fucking yeah. huge cunt they found swimming around Nova Scotia? What the who? A what? That fucking large bitch. Nugumi, they named her. Which I don't know what that means. Ricky, it's, what are you mean? talking about? You know that you're talking about a shark. Yeah, right? that fucking big crazy bitch. She's like 17, over 17 feet long. I thought you were talking things. about a lady. No, man, I wouldn't call a lady that. Well, you said, did you, you that big, jeez. It's Ricky. a fucking massive great white shark, 3,541 pounds. Yes, down off the coast in Nova Scotia. 17 feet long. They tagged her. Actually, there's a video we should put up right now. See how, that's fucking crazy. That's a, that Imagine what that fucking thing would do to you. It would just, you'd be standing there and just go, <laughs> Or, you hold. or it would come up and hold you right there and shark fuck you. Its fucking head is almost as big as you, man. It's a big fucking beast. You wouldn't want to be in, like, in a small fishing boat. I think it's like 5,000 years old or something crazy. It's big. How old? 5,000? There was a five in there anyway. It's fucking 50. Big. It's 50 years old, Ricky. No, it's 5,000 hours then or something. I thought there was a 5,000 something. Oh, fucking. He's 5,000 hours. Shark is 5,000 years old. <laughs> Come on, man. 5,000 hours, that? he said. Oh, he gets his fucking oil changed at 5,000 hours. <laughs> well, 50, anyway, that's a, is that an old shark or is that like a. Spins changed up. Is that a young shark, old shark? 50? Yeah. I think that's, they, can live, they can live pretty old, I think. They can. The average lifespan of great white shark 70 years. Really? Oldest yeah. shark, I believe. Greenland caught this old cocksucker, 512 years old. Get the fuck out 512 out. years old, the way. shark was. Yeah, he How was... could you live that long and not fuck up something and die? I would never live to 500, swim around the ocean. You're going to fuck up at some point, or you just go up to get some air. <laughs> Big fucking trawler runs you over. You would think, odds are you're going to fuck up after 500 years. probably been hacked years, up but... a little bit, but he'd probably learn from it, right? But he's not, you got to think, Ricky, there's not a lot that can happen to him. You know, there's no, he doesn't have a natural predator, I don't believe. What about people? Well, yeah, he did good to avoid. Somehow that guy avoided shark fin soup, or yeah. that girl. He did, they did good, whoever that shark was. That's what I mean. It could be 499, and then you go to the surface one time, and a harpoon goes right through your fucking So just wait. Back. He's 500 years old, 512, so he was around 1,500. That's fucked He might have known. Christopher Columbus might have sailed right past him. Well, that's what I mean. He probably did. Guy. As a little guy. Survived the wars, survived like, torpedoes. Find a Nemo size, and Columbus went by, and he watched him. What fucking finally <laughs> did him in? Some Greenland fisherman, see? Fucked up. I bet you when Columbus went by, he saw him and he thought, 
He's going to do thing. something great, that fella. <laughs> <laughs> 500 years later, look at him. Look at him. He found a whole new world. What a fella. All right, man, that... It's, imagine if you're swimming in, in Lunenburg on the weekend and then you see that story come out. You're like, what in the fuck? Why would you be swimming in Lunenburg in the middle of October, Ricky? Fuck. Fucking jelly. Well, the wetsuit. Ma? I might buy a wetsuit and start swimming in the winter. Well, they got a lot of pubs right on the water. <laughs> you go get drunk at a pub, pop in the fucking drink, right? Ricky, will you please get a wetsuit and start swimming in the winter? It's going to be tight fitting, too. I might just wear it around the house. <laughs> no, man. I'm going to put some Don't flames it. on it. I'm going to change wetsuit fucking fashion forever. I might be a good... Do they have those with fucking flames and no, shit on them? they're going to. You can get they flames should, put on them, no problem. I think Steven like, Seagal had one. I might go into the wetsuit business. Steven Seagal had a wetsuit with flames on it. I'm going to take the money we make from popcorn and invest in the wetsuit business. What will we call them? Ocean flame suits. <laughs> I like it. That's a good, yeah. Ocean flame suits. Ocean flame suits. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really tell you what the product is, but it sure gets your attention. No, if the flame kind of means it looks cool and it keeps you hot. Maybe too hot, because it's a flame. You might start sweating in the ocean in October. <laughs> Letting all the sharks know your location. And I bet sharks would be afraid if they saw... Because they don't use these plain little fucking lame black or gray wetsuits coming out. They see something with flames. Yeah. Like, wow. Well, they think some people... They think they're fucking you're a seal or something, right? No. They're looking at it going, what the fuck is that? Whatever it is, I'm not touching it. Or they think Steven Seagal. Don't fuck with him. He's got a roundhouse kick that'll fucking knock your shark teeth right out. Where did Steven Seagal get into this equation? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> he had a wetsuit with flames on it, no, didn't, he did. didn't he? Didn't he? Oh. Or maybe that was Van Dam. Was it? I have no fucking idea. One idea. of them had a wetsuit with serious? flames on it. I, I don't up remember the flame idea. Fuck. Well, maybe you did, Rick. Maybe it was somebody cooler than me, because those guys are fucking cool. Who is? Those guys you were just talking about. Steven Van Seagal? John claude Van Damme? Remember when Van Damme said he kicked Steven Seagal's arse? He was on Jay Leno or John oh, yeah. Carson or one of those shows. How come they've never fought? I think Steven Seagal would kick the fuck out of him. I don't know, man. Van Damme. I mean, back then. Maybe not now. I don't know. Well, he, he said he was. He was pretty confident that he could kick his ass, wasn't he? Well, I mean, back then, Van Damme was, you know, he was bouncing around. He would say, oh, I, you know, ooh, I kicked her. And then Skull was on a couple weeks later, and they asked him, you know, who would who would win? And he just straight face said, I'd kill him. <laughs> we should yeah. we should fucking talk to those guys and get them. That you can, all right, boys, here's the deal. You get to train for one year, and then it's a fucking all-out battle. $100 million. Who's putting up the money, know. Ricky? Dana White. I haven't figured that part out. <laughs> Why doesn't Dana White get a Jean-Claude Van Damme, Steven Seagal, fucking blood sport type? That would be awesome. He could make a hundred million dollars on that. Yeah. Or, or he wouldn't make anything because nobody gives a fuck. There's the other possibility. I think I'd pay 20 bucks to see it. Or even Mike Tyson so. against Seagal. Hundred million divided Mike by twenty Tyson is and what? Seagal. Mike Tyson would beat the fucking teeth out of Steven Seagal. Do you think Seagal would say that? He threw him on fucking Kimmel or something. Would you beat Tyson? He'd go, "Yep, kill him." Mm, that's a good point. Oh, yeah. Steven Seagal, he's like, he doesn't like the. He's not in good shape anymore. Yeah, is but he? he just fucking uses the other opponent's energy and just throws him down. Doesn't get hit. I don't know. Have you seen Mike Tyson training? He That's looks what like I'm a, saying. It'd be a good fight. I don't think it would be. No, no, no. I think he'd kick his ass. Steven Seagal versus Mike Tyson. Oh, Mike Tyson, Tyson would, yeah. yeah would not but there's great. people out there that would say, uh-uh. No, but Steven Seagal might use some of his ninja moves. and I don't know. It's a tough one. He might take to the ground and pound. If Tyson came running at him with a flurry, what would Seagal do? I mean, he don't is... Don't know, man. That's what I'm saying. Maybe he could block it and... Fire him out of the brain. I don't know. You ever work with titanium? <laughs>